Welcome everyone to episode 23 of Answers to Questions, and this episode is all about internships. So we decided to talk about internships as our Lemonly internship application is coming out soon. And it's kind of that time of year here, second semester, where students are start thinking about what should I do this summer? So the first question about internships actually came in just here in the office when we were talking about the topic. Chris asked me, hey John, what internships did you have in college? So I had two different internships during my uh, college years. The first was after my freshman year, I interned here in Sioux Falls with the local independent baseball team, the Sioux Falls Canaries. At the time, I really wanted to work in the baseball industry and be the general manager of the Twins. I still want to do this. Um, and I did everything from help sell tickets to promotion to, yes, wear a chicken suit and run around the bases and fans would try to chase me. And if they chased me, they would get, if they caught me, they'd get uh, discounted wings at Buffalo Wild Wings. So that was an interesting first internship. And the second one, actually two years later, I applied for a local internship at an agency here at Lawrence and Schiller in Sioux Falls. I was one of the finalists. I think they have 90, maybe 100 people. Uh, I was one of the 10 finalists to get a phone call. Didn't get the internship, but recently I was cleaning my, uh, cleaning my closet. We're getting ready to move, and I found the letter. I found the rejection letter. Old logo, everything. It's from like 2006. Um, so I thought that was funny. Maybe I used it for motivation. Not sure. But that summer instead, I ended up interning in Decorah, Iowa with a guy named Jason Trout. He was a solo entrepreneur, uh, and actually that was an amazing experience. It kind of opened my idea to entrepreneurship, that you can start your own thing. You don't have to just join someone else's team. And so that was an awesome internship that summer. I almost actually stayed up, stayed and kept working with him, but I moved on. So those two internships, uh, one taught me maybe what I didn't want to do and actually not want to work in baseball and wear chicken suits and the other one that I could start my own thing. So internships are very valuable in shaping where your career goes. Second question I got in a Facebook message from Joe, he said, how do you select the right company to intern for? This is a good question, Joe, because maybe you are thinking, where do I apply? Or maybe you're like Maddie and you get, like, you get accepted to three of them and you get to choose which one to be a part of. Um, I think it's really important to choose the right internship based on the people. So don't choose it based on how cool the office is or how sexy the, the company name is or um, you know, even what you're gonna get paid, whether it's 10 bucks an hour or 15 bucks an hour or a stipend or, or even unpaid internship. Because in the grand scheme of things, this internship is a, you know, three months in the summer or maybe a semester. So choose based on who you're gonna get to work with. Are you just gonna be stuck in like the corner room with other interns? Or do you get to actually work with the people who do the work? Do you get uh, time exposure to the CEO or to leadership? Do you get to go and actually get uh, FaceTime with clients? Or depending on what type of industry you're looking for, choose the, the, in, the internship based on the people and the experiences, not on the money or, or how cool it looks. Our third question came in an email actually from Natalie, who was an intern last year, and she asked, any big mistakes to avoid when applying for an internship? And I think, I mean, a couple quick ones that come uh, to mind from past, we've had, I had two people send an email, no subject line, no body copy, just their resume as an attachment. They didn't say anything. Now, I don't need a big cover letter. Nowadays, I kind of feel like the email is the cover letter, but you have to say something and, and definitely put a subject line in your email. Uh, other type of things is at the, end of the inter at the end of the interview, they're probably going to ask, do you have any questions? make sure you have a question. Don't just say, nope, sounds good. So in general, I think the point is to show some level of research and, and customization, right? So like when I see resumes that say objective to obtain an internship in marketing, I mean, couldn't you make the one version you send to us the objective to obtain a Lemonly internship? Or when asked if you have questions or did you do any research, like can you tell me more about what Lemonly does? Make sure you have an answer. So outside of some big obvious mistakes, just show that you've done some homework, uh, you've done some research, and, and you know what you're applying for and, and why you want it. So the last question is one, it didn't come from a specific person, but it's the one we get the most often. Anytime I talk at colleges or universities or, or see students is, what's the secret to getting the Lemonly internship? So since our internship is coming out, I figured we would just ask the people who have gotten it. So actually six out of the 20 Lemonheads that work here today were previously Lemonly interns. Amy works remotely. 
So we're going to bring out the other five people. I think what really impresses me with applicants is when they actually do their homework on Lemonly and they know what we do. They have a favorite project that they ask us questions about and want to know about and actually pay attention to things that we've been doing. I would say describe yourself as a person and an asset because uh, people are Lemonly's biggest asset here. We don't hire machines, we hire people. So uh, tell us who you are and what will make you an asset to Lemonly. I think it's important to make a personal connection with uh, John or Amy or to make an impression in some way, uh, whether that being winning Addies at the local South Dakota Ad Fed conference here in Sioux Falls or um, going to One Million Cups if John is present. You can email him beforehand, see if he's going to be there. But making a, per a personal connection or an impression upon John or Amy would be important. I would say read our blog because there is a lot of advice from past interns and you can learn a ton about Lemonly. And send us treats. <laughs> My tip for the Lemonly internship would be to send a thank you note after your interview. Uh, it's kind of an old school interview thing but it's still something that I always did after interviews and it's especially a big deal with Lemonly because we send our clients thank you notes after their first project with us. So that would get you a little extra gold star. All right, so those are some of the tips from the people who have gotten the Lemonly internship and, and now work here. So if you are interested, make sure you check out lemonly.com slash internship. The information comes out here this month of January and the application deadline is February 1st. So those are some tips about internships. Of course, we wish all of you students the best of luck as you search for internships and uh, send in your questions here. Use the hashtag AQJTM or Michael will show you how to do it. We'll see you next episode.